Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Dawn of the Mexica. Brand new roguelike from the minds of Pablo Baron. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get started here on our first run ever. I've already done the tutorials, so theoretically I know all the controls. We'll probably look at the game options menu a couple times. We'll see. New game. Okay, so we can be all different types, um, but I think we haven't unlocked them yet. So we have the Warrior right now and the Firefly. The Firefly is a shaman, adept to defensive magic related to fire and light. Often a follower of the god. I'm gonna mess this up. Zio Tehichuli? Something like that. Unfortunately, Firefly is usually very squishy and should avoid direct combat. Usually excel at their intelligence, but what's need for magical power, followed by quickness and luck to help them survive. Here, but I think right now we're just gonna go ahead and go warrior. Okay, we can just get a random name. What I think I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go ahead and grab a name, same way we did Dungeon Dreadmore, from uh, Bot of the Universe. So, Bot of the Universe, can you tell me a name of a viewer or subscriber, please? Bot of the Universe has randomly selected Serafina Wilson, a YouTube subscriber. Serafina sounds like a female now for me, so that's what we're going to go with. So, Serafina, you are now a warrior. I'm going to roll the dice for our stats. Okay, you can keep on rolling dice. I appreciate that. Uh, if this is out of 10, we're not doing too horribly. Luck's in a good state. Intelligence is pretty low. That's about average, I guess. Nothing's below average except for faith. I think I'll be okay with this. As a warrior, I don't think we need much the way of faith. We do this as a firefly. Oh, it deletes it. Okay, never mind then. Alright, let's try that again. Well, luck is better this time. Strength is pretty good. Okay, you know what? We'll go with this. High strength to deal damage. Constitution to be durable. Quickness to act is also important to me, like how much. Quickness is 9.1, so we're pretty good here. I think we're okay. It's exciting. We have 31 skill points left over. I think for sure we go one-handed blades. We could do this with uh the, um, the keyboard, and I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to boost this up to, yeah, level 5 should be fine. The cost gets really expensive later on. There's three pages of skills right now. Let's dodge to make sure dex actually... Oh, dex is pretty good. Yeah, we'll go and dodge a couple times. Oh, wow. Um, I don't know how well we're going to be able to use shields. Let's just go physical resilience. Or maybe perception. That would be good for spotting traps. There we go. And here we are. There is a dog before it. Okay, so let's look at the bottom here. Our world is the fifth era of a cycle of creation and destruction. We believe the gods will let us survive this time. We made the appropriate sacrifices. We are the people of the sun. And it's our duty to nourish the sun god through blood. However, the world has changed. Uichipochichili, sun god, didn't rise this morning. Wild animals are restless and attack those who come near. Some have been saved. The terrible Dzini has been spotted. Kuoko, the tribe shaman, has chosen you to travel north to find the entrance to Mikla, the underworld. Uichipochichili, pronounced these name wrongs, always spends the night. There you must find the answer. Okay. We see now a Zula I'm going to totally mess these names up. Um, if that could be our friend, we cannot attack him, so it is our friend. Okay. So we need to go north so that we can find the entrance to the underworld where the sun god rests. All right. There is additional doors here, so we can talk to you. Uh, okay, you can switch positions. Probably a talk button. I can inspect. Let's, uh... Let's inspect the nice man here. Evaluate, sure. Let's do it. Uh, the male human villager is stronger than you. Okay, so don't attack him. That would be bad. I can examine the pot here. He has a canteen. I'm going to go ahead and pick that up. I mean, I already have another one, but his is pink and mine is clear. The canteens apparently act the same way as, say, uh, potions in most roguelikes. Also, we should make sure to equip... We have a torch, which is good. Let's use our sword here. 
So we have a Makaj Wulchul. I think is how you pronounce that. We're going to go and wield that on our right hand. We already have a torch. We have no real clothing to speak of. We have a lot of weapons. We could sell some of these. That'd be good. We do have a skill in one-handed weapons. I suppose we should quiver the arrows, too. Uh, we'll probably need the bow, then. We have, an athletal, we have a selection of athletal spears we can throw. And we have a spear thrower, which means we need to wield that, too. But we'll do that later. Okay, I'd like to sell some of this stuff. When we can. Um, what does this button do? That is spreadsheet. Rest and help. I don't see it. I don't see a talk button for this guy. I mean, this is a male human visitor, a uh, villager, not a. Uh, look at his turkeys there. Doesn't sound like a store. Maybe over here. Hey, buddy, how are you doing? Oh, you want to see what this is about? Let's go together. Take this ring; it'll help you. Okay, great. So we got a ring. Jade ring. All right, go ahead and put this on. Oh, I should examine it first. You fail trying to identify a jade ring with your artifact skill. Okay, so apparently my artifact skill sucks. Good to know. Uh, let's just go ahead and put it on. What the hell? He gave it to us. Maybe we uh, just trust him here. We'll put it on our left hand. Uh, it doesn't seem to matter yet. Okay. All right, we, uh, we swap positions. Okay, your friend from the village, good to know. Okay, so are you a shopkeeper? <laughs> Is he into the fifth sound? I mean, that's a good question. Go ahead and duck in here and look in here. We have a dress and a loincloth. I don't really need those. Uh, I'll put in that direction. Mushroom, sure, I'll pick that up. And you have cotton armor. Since I don't apparently have any armor right now, I'm going to go pick the, both of these things. Uh, do I have armor? Oh, I do actually have pants on, which is, which is good. Oh, I think I do have a shirt. I do have a shirt on right now. Yep, I do have cotton armor right now. Okay. Did not realize. The bandage over here, I'm going to go and grab that. And the spear, I'm probably going to end up filling up my inventory here. Sure, what the hell, pick up the skirt. Okay, so let's look over here. More bandages, that'll be good. Oh, a sling. Tempting, and we'll pick it up. Right, we'll pick up both of them. Uh, what is this? That is nothing. Can't cross it, but I don't know what it is. We have the cotton pants. We're just picking up everything. We're just stealing from the village here. But really, we're going to be on going on a terrible adventure. It seems like we need all the materials we possibly can. And we made a friend, so that's good. But I do not see anywhere to sell these things. I wouldn't even know, like, what currency they would give us. And there's the turkeys. So, well, our friend's going to join us, so that's great. Uh, this is our house here. Oh, this is a shaman, isn't it? I would like to talk to you. Mm -hmm. Must be careful for the terrible chisming which rise from the west. Right. No, you're right. You're right. There's more of the village over this way. Maybe there's a shop over here. Not look like a shop. That could be a shop. Mm -hmm. Female human villagers. Darkness has been going on for too long. I mean, you're not wrong. Problem with, you know, the sun being gone. Are you a shop? Mm -hmm. What do we do if the sun never rises? i uh, die. Is the answer there, you would actually just die. Mm -hmm. Be careful with the bite of the Kui Kui Kotl. They're quite slow, though. I could, you know. All right, so it looks like we can only go north, which is fair. I think I'm just going to drop all the stuff I don't want. If they're not going to let us actually sell the stuff, then let's just drop it. So we already have a sword, so I'm going to drop the spare sword. I need to do this individually. Okay. Let's drop the cotton armor. Because uh, I don't need that. Uh, D and drop. Oh, too many things on the ground. Okay, so you can only drop one thing at a time here. So each square is going to be taken up by something. That's just how it goes. I suppose we could go inside. And yeah, let me pick these back up. 
Um, there. And we can put these back inside of a thing here. Yeah, so on my side, let's get rid of... Oh, apparently it can only carry two things. I guess that makes sense. If there's only two squares there. The bigger pot over here, which has bread, which I'm totally going to take, and the fire seeds and the canteen. I'm going to trade it for the spear thrower and the adlatl wooden club, pole arm, which I don't need. Wooden spear, that's all I can do there. I don't think I need the skirt either. We're gonna go ahead and put the skirt inside there. I wouldn't need the blowgun either. Uh, hold on, down this way. Fill that up, okay, over here. Fire seeds I will take, and I will give you the other sword. And the, uh, the bow. The bow? We don't have any arrows. Well, do we, do, we do have arrows. They're equipped. They're equipped. The way the cotton pants. Come over here. More people will probably see us on our way. Okay, look at here. We're going to go ahead and drop off the blowgun. And the sling. I don't know if we're going to find any other stuff there, but so it goes. Okay, can I sort my inventory now? It does not look like it, but that's okay. That's okay. All right, let's get out of here. Be very careful. Our dog just ran off. Okay, he attacked something, I believe. Okay, good doggy. Corpse of a Kui Kota. Okay, well, if the dog's just gonna take care of it, that's great. And it looks like he's got somebody there. Oh, and our friend took care of it. Okay, also great. We've got a bunch of wolves over there. Or, uh, Kosatil. To be specific. Suppose we should probably use our ranged weapon if our friends are gonna just go in here. Let's, uh, let's trade out our weight. Our in here. So let me trade out yeah, Unwield. Although if we use the bow, we can't use the torch. Things progress without us there. Okay, yeah, if we can't use the torch, that's very, very bad. Yeah, that's very, very bad. Put that in, in the offhand. Uh, which I can't do until I unwield, right? Right, right. Unwield. And then over on this side, use the torch. Need to ignite the torch now. There you go. And then the sword. Oh, that's the that's the big weapon. I don't want that one. Uh, right, there we go. Now we need to light the torch again. On the left hand, and then a okay, nice torch. There we go. Okay, we've got a lot of the guys happening, like that people have not been idle while we've been, we've been away. So let's attack this beast. Uh, try to. Okay, attack you. There we go. Mottle tries to gore you, but fails. I'm glad it failed to gore me. Still hurt, though. Okay, this guy does not have health for you. Our friend is about to die. Keep on attacking. We did 18 damage there. There we go. Yep. Handles the weapon, loses his attack. I mean, he's not doing well. And he just died. I'm about to get surrounded here. 20 damage is fair. Our dog died too. I need to go into a spot where I kind of lure these guys away. Okay, they're attacking. Oh, the dog's attacking here. If I can lure them over to a spot, um, sure, pick up the clear liquid. Can I rest here for a minute? Let's just guard a little bit. Get some stamina back, kind of lure them over here. Okay, then attack him. Oh, that was really good. 
I'm gonna just die. There we go. And a barrier weapon is just, and then we'll just rest here for a little bit. There, much better. All right. I really don't want to pick up a skeleton, so let's not do that. Well, unfortunately, our friend is dead. Um, can't really jump over this, so there you go. Well, a feather headdress. I guess we're gonna pick that up. Yeah, let's pick it up. But a feather headdress. I don't currently have anything on my head slot, so sure. Let's uh, let's wear it. I don't need any bandages right now. I think we're okay. Oh, our character model changed. Now we have a headdress. Awesome. We know the cave is somewhere to the north, or so we were told. What is this? Like, just from random fencing. Okay. Also, nine arrows. We're definitely going to pick those up. Might not be able to use the bow just yet, because, you know, dark. But, we'll see. Okay, some flowers over there, but I don't necessarily care about them. What is this? Atlatl spears. We might need those. We don't have a spear thrower. So that's debatable. I'm going to go ahead and pick this up. I'll be able to do something with that later. I did drop my spear thrower on purpose, so it's possible. Okay, so I can't go this way. That is a big old maze over there is what that is. Okay. Over here we have a torch. I don't know if we need another one, but it's probably not a bad idea. I have no, no idea how long the torches last, so... I just assume it's a good idea. Hopefully there's a bridge for this river. Might just need to ford it ourselves. Oh, hey there, guys. Um, I'm going to attack you now. Wow, and failed. Oh, or we just murderly. The heartless bow ravages a Machopton's backbone, and he died. We have this guy here. Oh, and he also just died. Okay, great. Okay, the snake's about to come from. Oh, damn it, dog. I did not want you to go that way. But you know what? You took care of it, and I appreciate that. But these guys have nothing on them except they're just corpses. I wonder if we want to pick up those corpses. Wait here for this guy. He is not going to attack me. That's what it looks like. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. He jumped for it. Uh, wait. Okay, now we attack. Okay. Unmerciful slash is what we want. And he actually fell unconscious, so now we can murder him. There you go. Well, it looks like this uh, this goes right by the river, so we don't even need to worry about the river. Uh, tempting. I don't know if we need a Zola Quintal, but maybe. Let's attack this guy first. Oh, he disappeared. All right, we'll then pick this up then. I do not know where he went. Oh, there he is. Hello. And you're about to die. Like blow on his back, and then he's just dead. Polluted that river basically forever. There's a skeleton there. Kind of disturbing. Not mine, though. Hey, guy. Our dog has also disappeared. I have no idea where he went. Uh, you're not our dog. Okay, good. We leveled up. I will take... Um, maybe more with one-handed blades. You were doing really well there. Maybe more with dodging, though. Yeah, let's see if we can avoid some attacks here. I don't know, mo most dodging we'd possibly get. Maybe some perception as well. And then the one-handed blades, just so I'm better at that. And our last six points. We're using light armor right now. Our dex is pretty good. We only get a 0.1 increase for the most part. So, light armor might be the way to go. Evaluate creature we can push up. Tactics? Sure. Detect hidden is also pretty good, too. Let's detect hidden. There. Okay. And then let's attack. You. Oh, nope. Don't attack the tree. There we go. Smack him. Repeatedly until he's dead. Okay, we can also look around. Don't know how to track. Never mind, we can't look around. No idea where our dog went. Might be gone forever. 
I'm gonna keep on trying to go north. Oh, some bandages here. We definitely want those. Hold on, wait for this. Murderize you. I said murderize. Murderize. I'm out of stamina. God damn. That could be a problem. Too tired to attack. Okay, we're gonna recover our stam. He's gonna keep on attacking us, but he's bad at it, apparently. At that time, he hit us. Let's get into a corner here. There we go. Okay, now we should be able to attack. Murder. We have to wait until the stamina returns. There we go. There we go, finally. Okay, let's just heal up here. Rest up, there we go. Much better. Where's the other beast there? He didn't really attack us. Never mind, there he just attacked me. And I have to die for that. Sorry, that's how it goes. You were carrying mushrooms around, apparently. I have no idea what those do, but I'm sure they're great. So we're going to pick them up. Okay, and then we go back and get these bandages. Um, let's rest up a little bit here. There, good. Lots of weapons just lying around. A wooden spear and a skeleton. Well, the spear didn't help him, so we're not going to take it. Oh, there's a spear thrower. Okay, fine. We'll pick up the spear thrower again. Now we have a spear thrower again. There is a stone axe. We also see a bad guy. Oh, yep, down towards the bottom. I see him now. Does he see me? He does not appear to be going for me here. I wonder where our dog went. Well, he did not fare well there. I'm going to back up a little bit here. Okay. Wow. Critical blows. Nice. Keep on going north. Oh, okay. We're seen by a bad guy. Uh, I can't actually attack. Never mind. Wait. And then attack. Nice. Wait for that stamina to come back. No need to rest. Okay, just wait for the stamina. A lesser Zizini. Oh! Air skeleton beast. That is the bad news. That is very bad news. Okay, but we were able to kill him easily enough, so that's not too bad. For our stamina. Apparently very hot around here. Uh sure, why not? We just picked up a spear thrower. Let's actually, you know. Pick up some spears. Seems we have a lot of spears right now. Uh that bush looks strange, isn't it? Okay. I mean, it's just a dense bush, apparently. I'll whack these guys. There we go. Alright, you've got an obsidian dagger and a couple of corpses. I don't know if we want the obsidian dagger right now. I think we just leave it. There's a bow there. I think we leave that, too. Red liquid. We have no idea what that does, but I'll go ahead and pick it up. And we're going to rest a little bit to get our stamina back. Okay. Well, still going north. Another canteen. Or, yeah, another canteen. I'm going to pick that up. I have no idea what any of these do, though. And we lost our dog forever. Our friend didn't last very long either. Oh, hello, guys. You see me now? You're going to come towards me? Uh, maybe not. This guy totally is, though. Attack you. Oh, actually, they're... They just... No, I think the... Yeah. I think the Zizini is actually bleeding to death. As a skeleton, that's very strange, but I'll just accept it. Okay. We're going to do fine just here. Okay, let's wait for our stamina to come back. So I think the other guy just bled to death. what it looks like. Also, does that indicate that I'm I'm thirsty? Well, I have a clear liquid, so let's drink it. So, K, and we will... We should examine it first. I do not know what it is. Okay. Well, so it goes. We're gonna try it anyway. Quaff it. You can pour over yourself, empty, or drop the canteen. Oh, cool. Let's quaff it. 
Okay, you identify the clear liquid as inner cold liquid. Okay, so maybe that helps like with my temperature here. Like right now, I apparently think it's 10 degrees, even though I thought it was really warm. Did not seem to help my thirst, though. Mm, let's see, did I end up getting... I do have an empty canteen right now. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to the water over here. And see if I can build a canteen at all. Yeah, refill it over from this direction. It's greenish water. That sounds horrible. Why don't we drink that? That sounds like a bad idea. We might just die from this. Well, I'm no longer thirsty, which is good. Alright, it's greenish water, but fuck it. Um, we're going to go ahead and fill the canteen again. Who knows when we're going to be thirsty again. Okay, let's keep on going north here. Um, you going to attack me, or how's this going to go? Think he's coming for me here? Maybe not. Snake totally is. Alright, wait for it. And attack. There we go. Nice. Don't attack me too. Nope. Okay, well, I'll just attack you because I want the experience. Back up a little bit here. And I need to work on my one-handed skills for sure. Oh, I'm stamina to breathe it down. Wait for it. Yeah, he can't even touch me right now. So I'm just, I've just been picking on the poor guy. Chimney freaking Christmas. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time hitting this guy. Hit me for one damage. That's that's just me just being a bully. I look looks like it. Stand up over here and whack him. Um, I get a cramp. That's not great. It turned everything yellow. Not attack while knocked out. Did he actually get a lucky hit? I'm knocked out. Okay, well then I guess we just wait then. I'm no longer knocked out. And he's murdered. Let's attack you. Okay, well now I'm bleeding. Got a sudden back blow or something. Uh, well bleeding out is bad. I would like to use a bandage, but... I stopped bleeding, so that's good, but I don't have my stamina now. Okay, attack again. And now I'm stunned. My torch is no longer lit. And I'm bleeding again. I could just die right here. Actually, yes, I did. <laughs> well, I didn't even make it to the cave. Didn't even make... You know what? I chose to fight these guys. They were going to leave me alone. And I, uh, I didn't let them. So there we go. Well, that's been our first run in Dawn of the Mexico. I'm Peace Universe, you're Peace Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.